up Fortnite fam? I'm Matt and this is yet another Fortnite update in under 5 minutes. But before we get into any of that, remember that if you want to improve then you need to head over to ProGuides.com right now. We've got some of the best coaches around who want to help you become the best player you can with some exclusive one on one coaching. They'll play right alongside you in your games to help you supercharge your improvement, so you can succeed in the next FNCS or Arena. Since Epic Games have completely forgotten how to publish even the smallest patch notes on their Twitter account, let's start with the map changes. At first glance, it might look like nothing has changed, but as a matter of fact, the alien abduction of Slurpy Swamp has begun, with a few chunks of the map now having been ripped away by the mothership overhead. You'll currently be able to visit the abducted parts as part of the Mothership minigame after being scooped up by an abductor. Now that we're done with those frankly almost non-existent map changes, let's get into everything that has been uncovered by data miners in the files. First up, there are two brand new weapons that can be found in the files. The first of the two is the much expected Propifier. This is a weapon that will allow you to transform yourself into various different props without actually having to pay an NPC any gold. The other less expected addition is a brand new Pulse Rifle. This is the Burst Pulse Rifle that has supposedly been modified for burst firing. It has the same properties as the normal Pulse Rifle, meaning it will shoot faster from the hip and slower while aiming down sights. Ifire Monkey has discovered a new item tag for a throwing axe fire. The weapon isn't properly in the files yet, but it looks like at some point in the future we'll be getting a new flaming throwable. Meanwhile, Hypex has discovered that an old scrapped item from Chapter 1, the Medic Pack, has been updated for some reason. If actually added to the game, this item would allow you to self revive and would let you revive your teammates faster. Ifire Monkey has also discovered a new chest type that is being worked on called a Spawn Obelisk. These spawn obelisks have a chance of leaving behind a chest with powerful weapons. We're not sure what these are yet, but they sound an awful lot like something that would spawn enemy NPCs, as has already been leaked earlier this year. Two new NPCs have been added to the map, Beast Boy in the Weeping Woods and Armored Batman Zero in the Dirty Docks. Speaking of skins, let's get on to the leaked cosmetics. For the skins, we've got the Pop Prodigy, Harmonizer, Amplitude, Band Pass, Melody Maverick, Synth Striker, Attenuator, Reverb, Syncopator, and Hi-Hat skins. These outfits will light up and change colors in response to music. There's also Human Bill, who has apparently over 4,000 unique style combinations, as well as Bloodsport. We don't know what any of them look like, but leakers have also discovered a Back to School 2021 cosmetic set in the files. For the harvesting tools, we've got the Argus Saber and the Freezy Friends. For backblings, there's the Guffy Stuffy, which will react happily or angrily depending on how you play the game, the Starro Specimen, and a Weather Balloon. Next up, the Gliders. We've got the Rainbow Cloud Cruiser and the Cuddly Cloud Cruiser. A Rift-inspired Ariana Grande glider has also been added to the game files, but we're not sure if you'll actually be able to purchase this one because it doesn't actually have an item shop display. The new wraps are the Doodler, the Bloodsport Camo, and the Adorbs. With the inclusion of some new sprays, it looks like Epic have actually teased some upcoming Suicide Squad skins. There's Polka Dot Man, Peacemaker, King Shark, and a new version of Harley Quinn. The Superman quests have also now been added to the game files, according to iFire Monkey. You'll have to defeat aliens, visit different named locations, and finally visit the mothership or an alien biome. That's it for this week's update. New weapons, an event on the way, and new changes to map locations. Honestly, it seems like this update is actually going to be pretty fun. Either way, I'll see you all in a couple of weeks for the next one. If you enjoyed today's video, leave a like and make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to be informed of every awesome Pro Guides upload. <laughs>